Ethereum is going to go to $15,000 this cycle. At least that's what the Fibonacci's are showing us. And while you may not believe it based on recent price action, what if this is all just going according to plan? What if Ethereum just always lags and the new price highs could just be around the corner? Mm. I'm going to break that down for you in today's video. So let's go ahead and get straight into it and look at the price of Ethereum right now because we have some very big things here to talk about, okay? First and foremost is that this $2,800 level, which was key price support earlier this year, key price resistance here and here and here for the last few months has now been broken. We broke that back here on the 7th of November, came back up, hit a key area of price resistance here, corrected down a little bit. Where do we correct to? $3,000. Big fat round numbers. Market loves big fat round numbers, doesn't it? Price currently pushing higher as Bitcoin nears $100,000 at the time recording this video. By the time you watch this video, maybe even hit $100,000 already for Bitcoin. Ethereum still lagging quite a bit behind. Okay, next major level for Ethereum to watch out for, $3,550. That's probably going to be the number that really kicks us into high gear because look at this. Let's put that on the weekly so you can see it with a little less distraction. Look at this beast of a pattern that we got forming up here, okay? Ethereum has respected this uptrend line since mid-June 2022, okay? That's incredible. Now, what's also interesting is that we've had this beautiful top line here for the downtrend, as you can see here, right? And that has been going swimmingly so far as well. We are essentially forming up one gargantuan FU style triangle where the price has been just grinding within it. Uptrend maintained strongly, may I add. Downtrend, we're getting close to breaking it. Now, I mean, technically that triangle goes all the way until like 2026, so, you know, FYI on that, but I don't think it's going to take very much longer to break out. I think we break out with pretty dramatic fashion in the next few weeks, and I'm going to tell you why in just a moment, okay? But real quick before that, this is the last chance to get that $150 USDT back bonus from the guys who are at BitUnix. So if you're a cryptocurrency trader, this is an unmissable deposit bonus, okay? Check this out. Come over, start your account on BitUnix, and you start trading with no KYC. That's right, no KYC. That means that you can come over here, do all the trading that you want, maintain your privacy. Here's how you get it, okay? Link down below, click on that link, deposit $200 or more, and you're gonna get $150 USDT back, okay? You can use that to trade on the exchange, keep all the money that you get from the trading. It's an incredible, deposit bonus deal. It's a very limited time offer. It expires in less than 24 hours. So if you want to take advantage of it, you better hop on it quick because it won't last for much longer. Okay. Go check it out if you're a crypto trader. So this is the price of Bitcoin back in 2020. And here's the thing for everybody dunking on ETH right now. And I've had so much fun dunking on ETH. It's my second biggest bag, by the way, I obviously on cryptocurrencies. Crypto investing is risky. You can lose all your money. Don't forget that uh, portfolio disclosures and risk statement down below. YouTube description, pin comment over on X. Now, what if I was to tell you that ETH underperforming at this stage in the cycle is completely normal and nothing to be worried about? And I know meme coins have made epic money and Solana's breaking out to new all-time highs and Bitcoin's at 100K and all that kind of fun stuff, right? Okay. But this is the breakout from 2020, okay? This is for Bitcoin specifically. So Bitcoin broke out on the week of 14 December, okay? So mid-December, Bitcoin breaks out. It rages higher. It goes up uh, 100% in about four weeks' time, going from 20K up to 42K. Beautiful move by Bitcoin. Here's the deal, though. Where was Ethereum at that time? Well, this is the previous all-time high back here, this orange line from January 2018, okay? Okay, it's important to note. So, at the time, this is here, the week of 14 December 2020, at the time, 
When Bitcoin was breaking out to new all-time highs, Ethereum was at $600. It was 62% below the previous highs of 2018. Crazy, right? It was dramatically behind. Same sentiment, same vibes. Ethereum's dead. Ethereum's never coming back. Its cycle was 2017. It's never going to have new highs again. All these new coins are going to be the new thing that makes all the money, which you know, some of those new coins did make a lot of money. But Ethereum roared back with a vengeance. It just lagged. It just lagged by a few weeks. Ethereum is the major indicator for a broader altcoin markup phase. When Ethereum hits its new all-time highs, the risk on attitudes towards altcoins more broadly is going to go absolutely bonkers in a very quick way okay so keep that in mind now from the time that bitcoin passed its highs ethereum took around seven weeks in total before it closed a weekly candle over the previous highs okay and there was a lot of volatility we dipped back down pretty dramatically before grinding higher and reaching some absolutely epic price highs and look at this look how big these charts got gosh darn we went from essentially let's call it 600 bucks in December, all the way up to $4,600 in May. So within six months, Ethereum rallied by $4,000, or if you put it another way, by 700%, okay? So that's what is possible. ETH just lagged by six to seven weeks before it even broke out to its new high. So if we were to extrapolate where we are right now, we are now three weeks into Bitcoin price discovery. Fantastic. So that means that it might be another three to five weeks maybe before Ethereum actually makes its big move, before Ethereum starts cracking into price discovery. It's not that long to wait. It's not that long to wait. I know there's other things you put your money in that might make more money. I get it. Uh, Ethereum's my second biggest spot holding. I think it's going to do very well. I think it's got a great opportunity here to really grind higher and put in these new highs. And that the time is almost here for that to happen. Three to five weeks. So what's that put us at? Probably, probably, my guess would be we're going to look at something like the last week of December or the first few weeks of January when Ethereum really breaks out and starts going into price discovery, moving beyond that $4,800 high watermark from 2021, okay? Now, how high can the price of Ethereum go on that initial breakout move and by the end of the cycle? Well, I've got some interesting thoughts on that, okay? So this, again, let's go back and look at our big, fat, juicy triangle right here, okay? That beast, that beast right there. You know, draw it up like that or if you want. That beast right there. Look at this. So this triangle went from $4,800 down to $800. So the technical target here is going to be about $4,000 beyond the breakout price. So let's assume we were to break out here in the first week of January. The price at that time would be, let's say, around $3,800, breaking out the downtrend, that is, breaking out the downtrend. So from the downtrend breakout, not the previous all-time high breakout, but just the downtrend breakout, which might even come sooner. Maybe it comes in the next week or two. The downtrend breakout here at $3,800, well, we add $4,000 on top of that. You get to about $7,800, $7,500, okay, approximately. Now, what's very, very interesting about that number, okay, keep that in mind. So I've added the Fibonacci extensions on here. Look at this. This is the triangle breakout target right around here, okay? So it's right around this blue line right here. Now this blue line, by the way, is the 1.618 Fibonacci line, which comes in around $7,300. That line becomes our first major target after price discovery, okay? So first we have to break out of the downtrend, okay? This multi-year downtrend, okay? That breaks around $3,700, $3,800, okay? When the price is over $3,700, $3,800, that is an indicator that the major downtrend has been broken and that we are gonna be gunning up for those previous highs around $4,800. From the $4,800 highs up, first major price target comes in at $7,300. That could happen let's say March or April of next year, based on how price reacted in the previous cycle, 
Okay? Just just to keep that in mind. Okay, I don't have a crystal ball. We're just we're just trying to bring some inferences here in on how we things have behaved before and how they may act again. Obviously, past performance does not equate to future performance. Obviously. The second major target here for Ethereum, $11,500, and the cycle peak price, in my opinion, could reach as high as $15,000, the 3.618 Fibonacci line. When you might say, gosh darn, the market cap at that point is going to be so ridiculously high. Yes, it will be. Yes, it will be. It'll be absolutely monstrous or ridiculously high, and it could still happen. Remember, Dogecoin went to $90 billion last cycle. It's, it's a picture of a dog, Okay. Don't tell me these markets aren't irrational. Don't, don't tell me irrational things can happen. Micro strategy. I'm looking at its performance recently. It's been absolutely insane. Everybody's FOMOing into it, okay? Things can go way higher than you think, way quicker than you think, okay? And that 15K mark, by the way, that's a high water mark, okay? You have to understand that's a high water mark. When the price gets there, it's there for maybe a few minutes. It's not like we're going to get up to 15K and spend weeks or months just chilling at 15k everybody has this nice orderly attempt to get out of the market some guys there okay it's perfect time to sell everybody everybody this way and sell perfectly no it doesn't work like that okay the reality is that if we get to that top target right of 15k and look i'll probably be starting to look to sell anywhere after 10k to be honest i think we definitely get to 10k this cycle 15k it's a big number and i think we have the potential to get there okay but it won't be there for long Okay, the guys who try to perfectly sell at the exact top, and hey, maybe I'm not being bullish enough. You know what? Maybe it's going to go to $100,000. No, it's not going to go to $100,000 a cycle. Maybe telling you that's full of shit. Okay? You have to understand that. When you start to see the price move, you start to see unrealistic price predictions just come out of the woodwork real fast. And it's, it creates a paralysis situation where people don't take any profits on the move and they hold forever and you're going to hold back down into the depths of the next bear market. Don't let that be you, man. Don't let that be you. Like I said, 10K I think is a very, very reasonable price for Ethereum this cycle. The fundamentals are literally 10 times better than it was at 4,800 bucks. The price still under that previous hide in spite of improved fundamentals. Okay. So there's that. The 15K that's probably not going to be very long, okay? If we if we do get that high, it'll probably be a very short moment of the price being there. Look back at all previous high prices for uh, Ethereum or any of the crypto assets. They peak fast and they drop real fast afterwards, okay? Keep that in mind. Let me know what you think. Is $15,000 a reasonable prediction or am I just high on my own supply and that's total bullshit and never going to happen? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you back in the next one. Peace.